Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing my first update of the Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. I started this a couple of weeks ago. I posted my first video on February 14th and I have been working on them. So it's the beginning of March now, so I've been working on these products for a couple of solid weeks, and I'm just going to show you my progress thus far. Okay, so the first product is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the shade 750 Caramel Toffee. Wet n Wild has recently come out with a newer version of this with a new formula, and this is the old formula. I have a picture of this when I first started two weeks ago and I will insert that here. This is where I am now. I feel like I've made a lot of progress on this for just being two weeks. It's super powdery so I feel like whenever I swirl my brush in there I, and I tap it off I lose a lot of the product by tapping it off. However, with that said, I'm kind of excited that I'm using it pretty quickly because I'm ready to try different contouring products. I think that this is a great deal. I believe that these are $3.99. I got mine at Walmart, but I've noticed them at Target and Walgreens as well. I actually thought that I was going to use this lighter side up before I use up the contoured side, but right now I've definitely used more of the contour than I have this side. I really like using this lighter colored one to kind of clean up my contour and my blush. So after, once I'm done my contour, then my blush, I'll take a brush and I'll go in with this light shade and I'll just kind of chisel it out underneath. I learned that little tip from Jaclyn Hill. The next product is this Maybelline Luminous Lights in Rose Lights Eyeshadow Palette. I'm trying to use up this white one. This, I think I can definitely use this up by May 5th. So I have two more full months from this point to use up these products, so I definitely think that this is doable. I've really been loving this product. It's just a sh shimmery white, and I use it to kind of highlight this area of my forehead as well as my brow bone. This is really nice. It's quite powdery, and I am looking forward to using up this palette so that I can get a newer brow bone highlight shade that isn't quite so powdery. And I will insert a picture here of what, where I was when we first started this project. The next product that I've been using up is a lip product, and it's the NYX Lip Smacking Fun Colors Lipstick in the shade Power. I have made some really, really good progress on this. This is a beautiful color. I'll swatch it for you here. It's a purpley shade. This pairs really well with a lot of other lipsticks. And I did mark on this piece of paper where I was when we first started this. And I don't know if you guys can see. But I was here. All the way up here when I first started two weeks ago. And now I am here. So I've used up about a quarter of an inch, I would say, maybe a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. I think that I, if I faithfully use this for probably like three more weeks, then I can finish it, which I'm really excited about that. I feel so much accomplishment when I finish a lipstick because lipsticks definitely take a lot of effort to use up. The next product is this Rimmel Nude Eye Pencil. That Some of the packaging came off, so it looks a little bit different this time around. And this, I also feel like I've been making some really good progress on, I'm not sure if the product goes all the way down to this pen, into the pencil or not, so I don't know exactly when I'll finish this up, but I also tagged where I was when I first started this. So I was up here when I first started it, the project two weeks ago and now I'm here so I've actually used a lot more than I thought I did. I've used about half an inch of this. That's pretty good. Wow. I'm really surprised at that actually. And I just use this in my waterline and I that's the only place that I use it every day so wow. I'm surprised at how much I've used of that. The next product I have in this baggie because I recently cut it in half to scrape out all of the product. It's the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother. I use this as a face primer. 
and I am just about all scooped out of this half and now I still have quite a bit in this half but it's starting to get kind of weird so I don't even know if I'll be able to use it all I think it's starting to solidify a little bit because I cut it in half but I've tried to keep it you know sealed up in this baggie so it should be usable but I'm really looking forward to using that product up because it's definitely not my favorite. Once I'm finished this, I'd like to try the, you know how like the new, there's new face primers that are in spray mists, and I would love to try that. I think that, that would just be so much like faster and effortless than rubbing something on, like this on. And the final product is this Illuminati Wet n Wild Concealer Pen, and mine is in the shade Posing Nude. This was a bonus product that I bought. I think I purchased this a month or two ago and I threw it in here as a bonus product just to kind of see how much I used and how quickly I used it and I have literally blown through this this is the fastest I have ever used a concealer I use this as an under eye concealer and I also use it as a little bit of a spot treatment corrector and I really like this concealer but it was $4.99 and I have gone through it, I swear, like in a month. And I'm no, it's not completely empty. There's still a little bit of product that you can see right here. But it was, I mean, it was close to full when I first started this two weeks ago. I had probably used it for a couple weeks prior to actually officially starting this project. But so that means, I don't know, I need to look back and see when I purchased this. Because I think I did a video or a vlog or something where I mentioned that I had purchased this, but holy moly, I it stinks because I love this, but for $5, it lasted me like, what, a month or two? That's crazy. That's awful. So unless I can get this on a sale or with a coupon or something, I will not be repurchasing this. It was great. I recommend the product, but the price for what you get is just not good. I'm definitely going to be finished with this before May 5th. So that is my update number one for this project. Let me know how you're doing. If you are doing this, let me know which products you're focusing on. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. And I will see you again very soon. Bye, guys.